So, what we've got here is a lovely specimen of one of the UK's native reptiles. And even though it looks like a snake, it's actually a lizard. It's a, it's a slow worm, or they're also called blind worms. And they were called blind worms because they've got the tiniest little eyes. Um, if you ever can handle a slow worm, and you touch it, you'll realise they're really, really silky smooth. And that's because the scales of a slow worm don't actually overlap. So they're, they're very, very tight fitting. And um, one of the major differences between lizards and slow worms is, I don't know if you can see their face, but if you're really lucky, she will blink just like that. So snakes don't have eyelids, only lizards have eyelids. And the other thing is that lizards also have um, ear holes which snakes don't do. So the way that snakes lubricate their eyes, rather than blinking, they'll actually lick their eyes. And you will see her poke her tongue out, and what she's doing, she's tasting the air, so they can get a really good idea of what's around them from, from that kind of taste. So slow worms are burrowing lizards. Um, so during the day they'll be kind of underneath things, and they tend to come out in twilight. Um, and they're also, um, they give birth to live young. So rather than laying eggs, which is, which is what sort of um, grass snakes will do, they'll actually give, give birth to, to miniature slow worms. They also do this amazing thing, which other lizards do, and this is why you have to be really careful when you handle them. They do a thing called um, automize. So if they're attacked um, or they feel threatened, and this is why you have to be careful when you handle them, they'll actually drop a segment of their tail, and the tail will be on the ground kind of wiggling away, and then anything's attacking them will actually eat the tail, and then the slow worm can kind of crawl off and, and kind of hide away and they they are suffering in the UK um, mainly one of the, the main reasons is due to domestic cats so domestic cats really prey on slow worms and they've got no defense against that so amazingly the the slow worm is is a really long-lived animal and um, in the wild they've been recorded to living up to sort of 30 years old I think there was one in captivity that, that lived 54 years old um, and, and because of that, that, that longevity, in terms of predation, that's why if, a, if an adult male's taken out and killed, that's why it can impact um, numbers because they are so long lived. We should really encourage slow worms into our gardens because they are carnivorous. One of their main food sources is things like slugs and beetles. So in terms of if you're growing vegetables, actually having slow worms in your garden is a really, really good thing. So yeah, they're great. Have a look at the slow worm.